very influential um, middle school science teacher. My seventh grade science teacher was um, incredibly creative. <laughs> and she had us do a lot of hands-on experiments. Um, we, we tested everything, all, all of the sort of um, physical laws of nature. We did a lot of experiments. And I really enjoyed um, trying to figure out how things worked and why they worked the way that they did. Um, and that really piqued my interest in science. I'm a, a program manager for human, social, cultural, and behavioral sciences, which means I draw on scientists in a, a very wide range of disciplines. So social sciences include things like political science, uh, economics, uh, computational sciences, mathematics, um, we have physicists in our program. We bring together all of these disparate disciplines to try to understand what makes people do the things that they do. This isn't necessarily where I expected to end up, uh, <laughs> uh, but I feel very lucky whenever I, I go to work. The wonderful thing about my job is that I um, get to engage with scientists from a whole range of disciplines. I learn something new every time I speak with one of these experts. I get to keep up with what's going on in a lot of different scientific domains, and I, I get to have an impact. I mean, we fund research, so making those decisions is, is going to have an impact on how the, the scientific world and the, knowledge, the intellectual knowledge base that we have develops, and that will have an impact not just on the Marines and the Navy, the Marine Corps and the Navy, but also on um, the general population. The more knowledge that's generated, from the work that we fund, I think it really improves um, everybody's understanding. The human behavior is so complex that I, I truly believe in 10 years and in 20 years there will, there will still be so many fundamental questions that need to be answered. If you find some problem or challenge that you'd like to understand more, throw yourself at it. There are so many opportunities to really investigate and I think that's one of the beautiful things about being a scientist is that you can you can stay as broad or get as narrow and deep. You can find one question that really sticks, is really tantalizing to you, and you can you can focus on it and you get to actually discover new new knowledge, new things that nobody has thought about or nobody's um, been able to characterize before. And I think I think that's the key, is finding what you're passionate about, and then there are new questions every day, and it's really, uh, it's exciting. It's exciting to discover new knowledge.